system using both wind and solar energy? Is that even possible? It's common knowledge that windmills are used to harvest wind energy, just as solar panels are used to harvest solar energy. But did you know there's a certain system that harvests both wind and solar energy? In today's video, we're introducing you to PowerNest, an incredible system that can harvest both wind and solar energies. We're basically covering its advantages compared to solar panels and windmills, not leaving out why it's so unique and many more. PowerNest is a powerful and all-inclusive system for automatic nesting. When you add the PowerNest component, you give your customers a flexible, high-performance automatic nesting solution that helps them save a lot of money on raw materials and work faster. This is definitely something you should know more about, so stick around to the end. Why is this system so unique? PowerNest is a system that combines solar, wind, and energy management in a way that solves the problem of turbulence and makes the most renewable energy possible. The goal is to get as much energy as possible from the small amount of roof space. PowerNest is made for flat roofs and needs the building to have at least five stories, which is where the best winds start. The top of the unit has solar panels and the inside has wind turbines. It is always put on the roof of the building. It looks like a simple box from the outside, but its success comes from the way it is made. Think of a plane with wings that are square. It wouldn't go anywhere. The wings look very simple, but there is a lot of intelligence behind their shape. PowerNest works to get rid of turbulence around a building by catching the wind, turning it inward, speeding it up, and directing it through the wind turbine. The combination of wind and solar is important because solar alone can't always meet the energy needs of a building because there isn't enough roof space. Plus, solar energy makes less power in the winter in northern climates. The wind also keeps the panels cool. The unit has solar panels that are on both sides and uses internal solar reflections. All of this leads to renewable energy production from rooftops that is many times the norm, especially in cities with good wind and solar climates. It's not just solar and wind stuck together. The word synergy comes to mind because the power nest louvers not only direct the airflow and make the vertical axis wind turbines work better, but they also keep the solar panels on top cool. And so it makes the most of that situation in two ways. And it's the first and only time we've seen two different technologies combine in a way that wasn't just adding one to the other. This means that adding one to one makes three. Can this system be a better solution to climate change and global warming? Each year, the world's temperatures get hotter, which melts the polar ice caps and raises the sea level. Putting your hope in the government to find a solution is a waste of time. Instead, the private sector is more likely to come up with solutions that will last, and PowerNest is one such solution. It combines solar panels and wind turbines to make a full energy solution for building with five or more stories. This system helps in reducing the use of other sources of energy that release CO2 and serves as a better solution to global warming and climate change. What are the advantages of this system compared to regular solar panels and windmills? Firstly, it's a reliable source of power. The panels don't always put out the same amount of power. Their performance can change depending on the time of day or year, among other things. For example, the panels don't work at night because they can't get energy from anywhere. With the GC PowerNest, you could be sure that your devices will always have power. It will store enough power to run your home appliances at night or when the power grid goes down. The second is independence. On days with the most sun, more than half of the energy that the panels make may go back into the grid as surplus. This happens when the amount of electricity a home needs is less than what the photovoltaic system can produce. The energy we don't use goes into the power grid, which stores it and gives it to us when we need it. But the network won't give you back the whole amount. You'll get 80% back in a year. The rest will be charged as a fee for storing energy. The ability to manage energy generated at home is the first step toward independence from the power grid. Also, if any of the above fails, your house will still have power. Thirdly, money is saved. One way to save money is to be able to store the energy you make and use it according to your own needs. You can save on your electricity bills. If the power nest constantly gathers energy from the sun and makes it available to power your devices, you will have a very efficient system. You will no longer need to get power from somewhere else, and the cost of electricity will go down by a lot. Fourthly, ecology. The electricity that comes from the PV cells is clean. Photovoltaic systems don't release carbon dioxide or other gases that are bad for the environment because they use modules that don't give off any gases. It's good for the planet that you can store energy and use it to power your appliances even when you're not home or at night. Your home will no longer harm the environment and will only use clean energy. Fifthly, the installation's full potential. All of these 
things about the GC PowerNest make it possible for you to get the most out of your photovoltaic system. You will not only have a separate source of power for your devices, but you will also save money on your electricity bills and give the earth a break. If you are thinking of putting the device in your home, know that you're making one of the best decisions of your life. Is it scalable? Green Cell has come out with a home battery made of lithium iron phosphate cells. The battery is called GC PowerNest, and it can hold 5 kilowatt hours and has a voltage of 51.2 volts. It can be expanded to 8 stacks, giving it a capacity of up to 40 kilowatt hours. The case for the new product is black, and it weighs 50 kilograms. It comes with a 10-year warranty and needs to be mounted on the wall. The price, according to the company that made it, is 3,289 euros. The device works with many different brands of inverters, including Schneider Electric, SMA, Goodwe, Growat, and Victron. What is needed to use this solution on a large scale? Alexander Suma came up with the idea for the power nest. When he was still living in Miami, Florida in the US 10 years ago, he got the idea for the design. He couldn't believe that buildings had to have their air conditioning on all day and night. This made him want to find out how natural things in the outside world could be used to make energy. Since then, the idea has grown and changed into what it is now. The idea was to put solar panels on a raised platform under which wind turbines and a row of funnels would be set up. The size of the roof and more can be used with a raised and larger platform. When solar panels are put right on the roof, on the other hand, only 40% of the roof is covered. Because the system is tilted over the roof, not only can more solar panels be put there, but the wind can also be caught from the building's exterior and sent to the wind turbines through funnels. These funnels speed up the captured wind by 1.4 to 1.6 times times, which makes the wind turbines produce 20% more. This Venturi effect speeds up the wind and makes it less turbulent. Also, the wind flow cools the solar panels from below, which makes them about 15% more efficient each year. The company says that the extra roof space and the combination of solar and wind power can make up to six times as much energy as if only solar panels had been put on the old roof. Power Nest can be put up on buildings with five floors or more, as long as there aren't any buildings or trees in the way and the wind is strong. The solar panels alone don't produce enough energy to cover all the electricity needs. Also, the system is made up of separate parts that are easy to put together. As far as noise is concerned, the concept complies with the building regulations. The system can only be heard and is still within these limits when it is stormy. Just for illustration purposes, this was put together. It has six modules, and three of them each have a wind turbine. 144 solar panels have been set up in total. The installation was put up on a roof that was 22 by 15 meters and about 20 meters high. A 400-ton mobile crane was used to do the installation. The amount of energy made is about the same as how much electricity the 29 apartments in the building use. If the building is new, the power nest could be built into the design, but it can also be used in buildings that are already there. The black steel design not only makes the system work, but it also fits in with the architecture. The architectural integration is an important extra feature that could help to increase acceptance, especially now that new regulations have been in place since January and require every new building to generate 50% of its expected energy consumption in a sustainable way, either by putting a system on the building or near it. How much does a power nest cost? The cost of putting in a power nest roof depends on the size, number, and type of modules, as well as where the roof is. On request, they can give you a quick scan that tells you how much energy your roof could produce, how many modules would be needed, and how much the hardware would cost. The system is made up of beams, panels, turbines, cables, and inverters, among other things. The costs of installation vary from building to building and site to site because no two buildings are the same. Does PowerNest produce as much energy as a 3MW wind turbine? PowerNest doesn't make as much energy as big windmills in the ocean or on windmill farms. Both technologies are used for different things and on different scales, so they can't be compared. Large windmills don't belong in cities, and it doesn't make sense to put a PowerNest on a large windmill pole. There is no way to compare the two technologies as a whole. PowerNest gives you decentralized energy on top of your building, which directly meets your building's energy needs and gives you the option of being independent of the grid. Windmills, on the other hand, are a centralized power solution that makes you dependent on common energy politics and extra grid costs. Windmills also don't give you the extra benefit that PowerNest does, like a lower need for cooling your building, a longer life for your roof membrane, an architecturally appealing addition to your roof, and lower and more 
stable energy costs. The PowerNest is not a microgrid by itself, but it is microgrid ready, which means it can connect to a microgrid controller and work as part of a building nanogrid. We have reached the end of today's video. Would you say PowerNest is way better than solar panels and windmills, or would you rather support the opposite? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.